So, November 1st, middle of the morning, 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning, Quavo gets into an incident in Houston. Details are still shaky. Um, they say that he got into a fight with some people from the city. They were mad about a dice game. Some people say that they were mad because they were talking shit about Quavo with basketball. Some people say that it wasn't even that serious. It's a lot of different mixed stories. But straight up and down, an incident happened. Someone threw a punch. Someone pulled out a gun. Shots were fired back and forth. And terribly and tragically, take off, one-third of the Migos was shot and killed immediately upon impact. Terrible that that may be. It threw everybody in a frenzy. The culture's in a frenzy. The internet's in a frenzy. The media's in a frenzy. Um, I went on my social media. I spoke about this 99% rule. And, and, and I feel like that's why a lot of rappers kind of get into things. Because I think that people forget that rappers are humans. And when they go out, 99% of that room, wherever they at, is normally feeling good. It's normally love. People, yo, what's up? Oh, oh man, oh my God, I can't believe I get to chill with you. I can't believe it. Oh my God. And then that 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 energy feels, and you feel like, nah, it's love. Let me just chill in here. I'm good. And those extra minutes, or those extra hours at times, sometimes be, you know, sometimes it can end tragically. Because that 99% of that rule leaves, leaves that room for that 1% that's in there watching. That's uncomfortable you in the room and those anger and that temper, it's not all love. Because if it was all love, guns wouldn't have been drawn. Like, I've argued with my friends and people I consider family a hundred times. I never like, yo, bro, I'm going to pull out that hammer. It doesn't happen like that. So when I try, like, at the end of the day, it wasn't all love in that room. It wasn't. That's why I was able to go left, because not everybody in there was family. If it was family, no matter how wicked somebody's getting, guns don't get drawn. Maybe fights, maybe punches get, get swung. You get what I'm saying? And hands get thrown, but you don't get to guns unless there was someone in that room that was like, I don't give a fuck that so-and-so, as per superstar artist or rapper, is here. I'm here, and I, and I, and I don't care. So, you know, I know that they trying to... They, there's rumors of friendly fire. There's rumors of enemies shooting, and then the shot came back. However it goes, guns were drawn because it wasn't all family. Now, I go on my Instagram, I go on a rant, and my biggest discomfort, um, and I was early in the morning on it, just, just letting it off my chest, being like, I'm just getting really frustrated and, and angry that these websites are putting up, um, they're putting up videos of a takeoff dying and bleeding out. And I'm just like, at what point did that become the move? Like, we got to start treating people like humans first. I know they're rappers. I know they're superstars. But we got to start treating people like humans. And that's not the move. So I went on a whole rant. starts to go and push come to shove. I do this whole rant because I was disgusted. Because there's videos. A website's posting it to where he's there. There's videos of Quavo on top of him screaming, yelling, like, somebody get help. Oh, my God. My little nephew was bleeding out in front of me. It's rough. And, and I was just extremely just, I was depleted of energy. I just felt like the, the culture's losing any bit of integrity and morals that they got left. I know the people want to see what's happening, but you don't got to have the video of the man dying. His last seconds in the world is him on the floor. It's not it. So I'm not, I'm not into it. I didn't like it. I'm not cool with it. I take it for what it is. I go on my rant. Um, you know, we from the New York area, someone from New York news basically reached out, um, shout out to Pix11. They saw my video and was like, punch, we'd love you to come on the show. So I met Nicole Johnson on air personality. Um, I knew her already through, you know, uh, another friend as well. So it was, it was a, it was a family scenario and she was like, I'd love for you to speak punch. And I was a little nervous because I think that it's such an uncomfortable situation to speak about the dead, especially as soon as it's as soon as it happens. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it because I I feel like I know what to say. I know what needs to be said. And I know I look at the news as like, yo, my mom would look at the news. So my mom will be like, yeah, it's another rapper. He probably caused a fight, causing a ruckus. And the number one thing that I wanted to do on that platform is let people know that this is not 
the rapper incident why he got killed. It's not like that. And even his character and, and, and who he is and what the Migos represents, the Migos, the Amigos, uh, the family of what that is and how their family and their all blood, you know what I mean? No matter what, I know that people try to, you know, that's all three of them is blood. Let's leave it at that. Offset, we obviously know Quavo is um, the uncle of Takeoff. So cool. I went on. We did the whole run, uh, and it was it was dope. You know, as y'all could probably see, um, it was it was fire. Uh, the piece was really really just done. It was just fire to be able to speak. You know, uh, uh, for takeoff, it was just it felt good. It felt I felt prideful to be like, yo, I get to speak um, as per the culture and be like, yo, takeoff is extremely humble. This is not whatever possibly is assumed or anything. But what's basically going on straight up and down is. We lost the life of a man, and then I was able to express my frustrations with them recording him, you know, dying on the floor. So we spoke about that. I'm on it. I'm I'm, I'm on all of the, the 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 posts. Everybody's resharing. The message is getting out. It felt great. Now, as I wake up today, there's tons of other things going on, and I wanted to run through this. I seen that no cap posted that he's so happy and blessed, but he was supposed to be at the event with Takeoff, and it just shows how many rappers are like right there, and it could have been involved with this. And then there comes that whole final destination, like roll out of life. Like if no cap was there, does takeoff stay right there? Does no cap go chill with takeoff in the corner? Does him being there make them want to go to the studio earlier? Does does Quavo be like, yo, bro, let's chill? Do they joke differently? And now that whole incident doesn't happen. And I'm not saying that no cap is so important. I'm just talking about one little thing changes the whole thing. You about to go to an event and you go and get a car accident. What if someone was like, yo, I'm hungry. Let me go back and get my keys. Does that car that you're about to hit not show up at that same point? So is this whole thing of just trying to understand does one thing change the entire change of events chain of events it's just tough to digest but shout out to them um something came out today i seen it on so i seen it on say cheese earlier today shout out to sean cotton the whole team over there um and baby racks i never even heard of them um no disrespect to baby racks i would never i'm unaware you know sometimes it'd be brand new artists rappers coming out of the world but baby racks is from atlanta Gucci Man signed him to 1017, and he basically put, um, I'm definitely not fucking with Houston after that. Um, so if y'all book me, baby racks ain't coming. And um, Houston goes in an uproar, like, yo, bro, what? Who are you? Fuck you. Don't blame us for what's going on. Like, yo, forget you. Yo, bro, nah, at the end of the day, don't blame us for nothing that's going on. Like, us as a city and all of that. Gucci Man basically was not feeling it. And was like, yo, bro, you don't get signed and then say something so controversial to then make it look like Atlanta is having a beef with, with Houston. And then Gucci Man posts, congratulations to Baby Racks, the first artist in history to get signed and dropped the same day. <laughs> he is not 17, he is not 1017 anymore. And I'm just like, whoa, mic drop. First of all, that's super rough, Baby Racks. I know your intention wasn't to, to like fight to get signed and then get dropped the same way, but we got to understand that what you say, because you're a representation of Gucci. So now when Gucci go to Houston, it's like, no, now it's lit every time he go because you said some shit and it gets messy. And then that also uh, continues the Atlanta and Houston beef that could be sparked by you saying something. And now a Houston rapper say, well, fuck it. You ain't welcome. And then now it goes. It's a domino effect. It's that snowball. So Gucci was trying to stop it exactly where it is now sauce walker um obviously we all know who sauce walker is sauce walker writes and goes yo this is an l for houston and this is an l for hip-hop as a culture i know that he's like yo bro our city shouldn't even be known for any of this kind of shit and um you know people are going at it like yo i feel that i feel that but in his caption sauce walker writes um I wish y'all was with me in Houston. Now, Sauce Walker, we know, is active. He's on street time. He's always let it be known. He also does his business the right way, but he's also one of those guys. And he said, I wish y'all was with me in Houston. Now, obviously, um, well, let me not say obviously. It's, it's alleged and rumored that they was with Jay Prince. We obviously know who Jay Prince is, the son um, of, you know what I mean, the big homie and everything, and, and it's just, it's like a lot. You get what I'm saying? So, um, well, Jay Prince and Jazz Prince, pardon me. You know, I got it mixed up on it. But 
we obviously know who Jay Prince and Jazz Prince is cool. So Jazz Prince reaches out now and goes, um, what you trying to say? And he said, I said it already. My name ain't changed. Like, yo, bro, I feel how I feel. I feel like y'all ain't protect them. But if you feel a way down my number, but I said what I said, I'm not pulling back my comment because it made you feel uncomfortable. And now I'm just starting to see. Now here comes that normal shit that there's always ricochets. People are dying. They lose their life. And now people got to go, do I like it? Do I not? Is it too much? Is it not? And now we start getting these uncomfortable positions. So my question to y'all, my question to you, my question is to anybody watching this, anybody that's looking, what should happen? Did Sauce Walker, like, is he stirring the pot right? Is he free to say what he wants? Jazz Prince stepping in, knowing there's going to be conflict, him holding the ground. Like, it, is it too soon? Take off just lost his life yesterday. Is this too soon? Or is this just part of the game? Like, it's going to happen. I want to get the opinions of it. Then my next question is what's going to happen now? Is Houston and Atlanta now going to be conflicting? Is it not safe for Houston rappers to go to Atlanta right now? Like, is it not safe? Is is someone going to try to retaliate to be, like, just in their feelings? Is it real lit? Like, do the, does that whole camp, do the whole Migos camp feel? Like, what's happening? And these are all questions that I wanted to pose and understand. My whole point is, I hope it's not a city-to-city -city conflict. Because if it's a city-to-city -city conflict... That's just going to be dark. That's going to mess up the money and more lives is going to be lost, which is not the goal of anything. So I just hope that that's totally not what it is. But it's a real situation. Someone lost their life and someone like Takeoff that was super humble, super genuine, super cool, super respected, and is affiliated so heavily. Migos, QC, all of that. And then my next and last point is Offset. I know that everybody knows their family. So no matter whatever beef they had, that's out the window. Like, that's out the window. But, like, how does somebody, like, offset deal with this to be like he wasn't around his brothers for the last couple of weeks and months? And I don't know, he lost his little brother, lost his little cousin. You know, he lost his family. And he's not, he wasn't in that active, seeing them every single day. Like, how does offset even mentally handle all of this, man? Um, prayers go for takeoff. Quavo. Offset, that whole family, Cardi, married in, that's family now. QC, that's family now. Like, prayers to all of them. Prayers to Atlanta, prayers to Georgia, prayers to the hip-hop culture, prayers to their family, prayers to everyone. Takeoff is not no play around. He's been rapping for two days. Takeoff has helped change and give us memories that some of us probably will never forget. Who, who, who left off better, Bougie? You know what I mean? Like, damn, man. We lost another one too soon. We lost another one too soon. So much to say, so much to think. Let me know. Drop a comment. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what's happening. Is it bugging? Does this start a city-to-city -city beef? Please tell me I'm wrong. Please tell me that this is not what's going to happen. Please. If you're an Atlanta rapper, would you go to Houston? If you're a Houston rapper, would you go to Atlanta? Or is A have nothing to do with B? Let me know. Let's tap it, man.